tank. Uh, I think most tanks should be should be run with two biological filters. Uh, this is not just a way of us increasing biological filter sales. It's it is more for for maintaining a stable environment. Um, Firstly and foremostly, we know why we have our kit. Okay, now why our fish produce waste? I mean, in an aqueous environment, I mean it's usually a puzzle to most fish keepers. They can't comprehend the fact that I mean, seventy-five percent of your fish's waste, organic waste, is going to come from its gills in the form of ammonia. It's a highly, highly toxic gas. It's it's. Well, it's it, invariably it's intolerable. Um, so if you actually come across it on your tests, you have to remove it. And the great thing about our test kit is it's going to show you a before reading. Then you're going to do several water changes. It's going to show you a lessening of it, and we're going to do our water changes until those tests come up perfect. And in my estimation, no ammonia, no nitrite. Nitrite, you will tolerate up to around 50 parts per million. A pH. Well, the pH is the acidity or the alkalinity of the water according to the fish species we keep. Uh, for general community fish, we tend to keep it around 7.27. 7. Um, for more specialist fish like discus, it could go down to as low as 5.5. On average, 6.5. Um, Africans could be 7.8 up to 8.4. Marines, 8.4 to around 8. Normally, 8.4. But the most important thing is you ask in the shop. You ask the staff. You you, you ask you ask all the questions you, you're probably going to ask at some stage when you go home. Everybody thinks the best questions are sitting at home looking at the tank, uh, but hopefully this will help some of that. Um, I stress the importance of biological filters, and I want to take away people's opinion that way. Or I want to I want to change people's opinion because. They see a biologic filter as a new little gadget that, that has some wondrous properties that, you know I mean, if you look at the box it's going to say Venturi on it and it's going to say Easy Clean. But the most important thing is our biological filters house a biofilm of bacteria, which is basically in, in yours and my terms, it's, um, it's a, it's a jelly-like substance which grows all over your media. This is where your, ammon uh, your nitrous ammonus and your nitrobacter do their, do their work. It's called a biofilm. Uh, we cannot disturb it. If we disturb it, we kill it. Uh, our biological activity is concentrated in that actual filter. So we'll have our water quality fluctuating after the interruption of that filter. So what we tend to do is we have two filters. We put one one end of the tank, one the other, and we clean them on an alternating basis. So what happens is one week we'll clean one filter. Now the important thing is when we clean our filters we don't use tap water near our filter, we use water from the tank. So you take a little bit of water out of your tank, clean out your biological media, reassemble the filter, put it back in the tank, throw away the dirty water obviously. We take water from the tap, we recondition it because tap water is invariably full of chlorine and chlorine is um, is sterilizer. It's like putting melting fluid into your tank. It'll destroy your bacteria in no time at all. It also strips your mucus layer off your fish. So sometimes you might see a fish flicking a lot after a water change. Uh, it'll also affect their gills and their ability to interact with the water. So make sure at all times you take tap water from the tap. You, you condition it using a good conditioner. Um, there are lots out there. Stress coat, aqua safe. Um, but the most important thing is you use one. So we've just cleaned the filter. Our other filter has been running undisturbed. The biological activity in that will increase quicker than this, the actual filter you've just cleaned. So what happens is the other filter that hasn't been cleaned is going to take over the mainstay of uh, breaking down the waste produced by your fish in the water wick. So what happens is one week we clean one, and several weeks later we might clean the other one, depending on the need. Um, the great thing about using two biological filters in your tank is you've had the physical waste going into your filter system. So what happens is you'll actually increase the efficiency of your, 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 your environment and the great thing is that the filters are less dirty. So by alternating the cleaning of them you're going to be more efficient. You know what I mean? Um, 
Another thing is people have to get away from looking into your tank and seeing that clear, 